So this is Kieran Brown and Robert Hodgson over on that uh, far side of the course, the Berkshire Bank from Tideway Scullers and the might of Ollie Wynne Griffith and Tom George from Cambridge University. Kevin Bishop, my co-commentators, Alma Mater. And I expect this race to be pretty much over by the end of the island, Kath. Yeah, there's a lot of power, isn't there? A lot of experience with Ollie Wynne Griffith and Tom George, of course, out of the bronze medal winning Tokyo Men's 8 and rowing then in Cambridge uh, in the boat race, which although they didn't win this year, you know, is one of the highest quality boat races. And, you know, uh, you know, they've been leading the way now in the pair for Great Britain. So, you know, just two names we're going to see uh, kind of feature for, you know, GB Men's Rowing, I think, for some years to come. And that is going to be too much for Brown and Hodgson. What are these, what is this British pair of Wynne Griffith and George? I mean, are they going to go flat out? What do their coach Rob Baker have told them? Because clearly they're a much faster pair. So they will be, you know, potentially going to, to get a time to the barrier and to test out some things at the start, to test some flexibility. They'll probably have a technical point to work on. Uh, and now, you know, Eastern is obviously they have a, a kind of huge lead here. It's very comfortable. They'll be using this to think about how do they create that stable platform in the boat. So if they are tested later on, uh, they're ready to get through the gears. I should think they'll probably also, you know, be, be thinking about, um, you know, the, the race plan, talking through it, even if they're not executing at the full full race rates and full stroke rate. Uh, but, you know, looking really good, isn't it? These are two incredibly powerful guys. Uh, Ollie Wing Griffith was at Yale, Tom George was at Princeton, of course, they're both at Radley. So they have a huge history of rowing together. Yeah, they're great, and, they're great mates. You know, that, that makes, that's always helpful in a pair, isn't it? Where you're so dependent on the other one. You literally, your two oars are like, you know, the, the tightrope walkers pole cut in half. You're dependent on each other. You need to understand each other almost telepathically. And a mortar like this that can really pull you apart in a pair, you know, you're tested. So we see Ollie Wing Griffith closest to us. He's had to change sides. He rode on stroke sides or port side if you're American in the Tokyo Olympics. Went to Cambridge, Rob Baker said, could do with you on uh, starboard side, bow side. So he changed sides to row with his mate, Tom George, of course, who pulled that sub 540 ergo, the first Brit to do so mm. in COVID lockdown. Yeah. And, you know, I'm just conscious that these guys are in the top half of a draw against Josh Bogowski and Harry Glenister, who we saw earlier mm. win their uh, heat to go through to the semi-final. That's going to be a real race-off because Josh Bogowski uh, was in a pair with Matt Aldridge that won the trials from this Cambridge pair. And then the Cambridge pair beat them in Belgrade yeah. quite comfortably, really. Yeah. So bogowski has gone now with Harry Glenister. I heard they're going really fast at Caversham. So that's going to be a great matchup. And then in the other half of the draw, you've got this sensational Kiwi combination of Matt McDonald and Tom McIntosh from the Kiwi gold medal winning eight in um, Tokyo. Look at that margin. Wow, that is, that's yeah, vast, isn't it? But that's the difference. These are, you know, obviously full-time athletes here who are, you know, training at, at the, the highest world-class level. Um, you know, and, and it's a tough go, but part of Henley is the fact you get to you know, you get to line up against these guys if you enter uh, the, the Silver Gobblets and Nichols Challenge Cup. Just looking there, Kieran Brown in the bow seat and Rob Hodson, he won the 2021 Thames Challenge Cup with Thames. So, you know, these are guys that are really decent rowers and they are basically getting their backsides handed to them by the Cambridge crew. Uh, yesterday, the Tideway Scholars crew beat uh, the veterans, Tricky Manners and uh, Matt Parrish by just a length and a half. And uh, Matt Parrish told me he was looking forward to watching this race and thinking what might have been if he got through. So you can see just how low is that rate? They're going over about, what would you say, about 20? 20 yeah, strokes I mean, a minute? Yeah, maybe, yeah. 2022 maybe so what are you thinking about now you you, you know the, the the race was won at the end of the island for these guys so what's the focus for them yeah it's I, I think it's all about technique in the pair it's such a technical boat you're trying to get power per stroke they'll be thinking about the length the sharpness it's actually quite tricky to be stable if the rate comes down as low as it comes down so it's a real technical focus now making sure that timing is good making sure it's Ooh, going you see him dip uh, his hand yeah. in the water there Ollie Wynne Griffith it's a bit cheeky isn't it he's got a wooden 
wooden handle. Yeah. And you, and you do like to do that with wood. You don't yeah. with plastic handles, but you do with wooden. Did you ever do that? I did, but I mean, I'm not sure I did it in the middle of a race always. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's subconscious, isn't it? You just yeah. kind of think you need it. That's how supremely confident, of course, they're not under pressure at this point. Uh, and, and you can sometimes think, yeah, I just need to, you know, my hand's getting sticky, it's getting kind of tight, and I need to loosen it off a bit, I need to just have a bit of water. Um, so, you know, they'll be also thinking about, you know, they've probably got a readout on their stroke coach, you know, it'll be power per stroke, it'll be distance per stroke. Uh, you know, I used to love that when you're ahead and you're thinking, you know, how much cover, push out the cover, show the crowds how impressive you can be, how fast can you go at rate 20, how long, how strong, how well sat, so it's the pair from Cambridge University, coached by Rob Baker, coming up to the finish in a heat of the Silver Goblets and Nichols Challenge Cup, founded it back in 1845. Very comfortable margin. Won't be in tomorrow's race, I'll tell you that for nothing in the semi-final. But uh, Wynne Griffith and George qualify comfortably. They will sit at the finish and wait for their opponents, Kieran Brown and Robert Hodgson from Tideway Scholars School, that club by Chiswick Bridge, who are battling on. And uh, they've got through a couple of rounds at Henley. That'll be great for them. Confirmation of that result, Wynne Griffith and George beat Brown and Hodgson.